Hi, my name is Roger Poon and uh, some of you may know me as the Dragon Skate Master but actually in Singapore, uh, we need female Dragon Skate Master and the reason is very simple because the female emits less heat from their hands so uh, yeah, the Dragon Skate Master that you know uh, like Auntie Lily or even Elaine Poon, my sister they are, and they're actually the real Dragon Spear Master here in Singapore. Now, I'm recording, I'm recording this is because I hope that this will become um, an aura and even a visual uh, recording of the history of Singapore's Dragon Spear. Now, Singapore Dragon Spear started uh, in a way, uh, started in 1988 because before 1988, Singaporeans only get to eat Dragon Spear during festivals or uh, trade fairs. Yeah, during this two uh, occasions, then Singaporeans would get to see Dragon's Gate Master invited from China, uh, most likely Hong Kong, or even uh, Taiwan, you know, uh, come to Singapore and then they showcase the skill of making Dragon's Gate and then make available Dragon's Gate for anybody who wants to buy from them. Now, um, Singaporeans don't get to eat Dragon's Gate before 1988, but from 1988 onwards, Holy Lee, my relative, uh, or some of you may know her affectionately as uh, Auntie Lee, started making Dragon Spear on a daily basis. So from most likely February 1988 onwards, 1988 onwards, uh, Auntie Lily started making Dragon Spear available uh, on a daily basis. She makes Dragon Spear full time, and uh, some people even recognize her as Singapore's first Dragon Spear master first female dragon spear master then uh, of course some even say that uh, she may be the world first female dragon spear master during that time in 1988 now auntie lily learned the skill of making dragon spear actually from a distant relative why do i say it's distant relative because uh, in many records we say that auntie lily learned from her grandfather the skill of making dragon spear then people may ask then why didn't Auntie Lily's grandfather make Dragon Beer? Now, Auntie Lily's grandfather was in the entertainment film industry. So, for his case, he did not uh, actually make Dragon Beer in public. But at home, yes, but not in public. Because uh, Auntie Lily's father, Auntie Lily, uh, her name is Ho Lily, her surname Ho, H-O. Grandfather Ho had this recipe passed down to him by a distant relative from China and some say this relative was actually a chef in the imperial palace of China. So in this case, uh, Auntie Lily inherited that note on how to make the ingredient of dragon's beard which is why for now if you eat the dragon's beard made by my family members you will be able to taste the extremely fragrant peanut crush that is inside the dragon's beard. So ever since 1988, Auntie Lily started making dragon's beard on a full time basis and uh, that's where, well, Singapore will get to eat dragon's beard on a daily basis. 